Hi, my name is Craig Morris, and I'll be reading for the part of Martin. I picture Martin as a meticulously dressed, well-appointed, proper-speaking British subject. He has found a home at Kathleen's. He's found a dear friend in Kathleen. Uh, they joke around and are very sarcastic with each other. Uh, he loves her in his own way. He's taken with her, actually, a bit smitten. And uh, I think he feels sorry for her, too. She's lonely, and he's lonely. And we will begin. Inside Kathleen's, a trendy establishment with a classy flair and a maximum occupancy of 30, the small morning staff prepares the dining room for the breakfast crowd with easy chatter. But the mood changes when she enters. Morning. Well, good morning, my dear. So, you read it? Uh, read what, dear? The article. You probably hit it when I walked in. Come on, hand them over. Oh. Yes. Yes. Well, it's really not so bad. They called me a gourmet Grinch. I've never read so many bad puns in my life. It's the small town mentality. Everyone should be with their families at Christmas. But we're like a family, right? Right? I guess, like a dysfunctional Jewish family. Who never goes on vacation. Funny. Almost uh, as funny as this. Oh, she's relentless. Shouldn't you just take the call? She did say it was urgent. It's just her annual Christmas invitation. It really wouldn't hurt to close for a day. Not a chance. I have mouths to feed. Not after that article. I won't abandon all of our loyal holiday loaners. Besides, how can we feed them? If we aren't open! <laughs> <laughs> well, then we better rethink your Christmas gift. Oh, yeah? We were going to put our money together and change the locks. Martin, I could kiss you. Which reminds me. Oh, oh, oh. Martin, I swear, if you don't put that away, I'm gonna... What? Have some fun? You're a prude. <laughs> yes, I'm a prude. A Christmas prude. Now get back to work. She's the prude that stole Christmas. Heard that. <clears throat> Doors in half an hour. Doors in half an hour. Look lively. 